Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna to be testing the Maximus clamp. Now, if you don't know what this clamp is, it's an industrial bar clamp that uses standard tubing that you can find around the workshop. And in this instance, my favorite is just the standard one by two, 120 wall piece of tubing, but it also can use two pieces of one by one. And of course, you can use a one by two solid bar stock. So what I'd like to show you is the clamping force by using these three different materials and what can we expect. Okay, first test, two pieces of one by one. So here's the test. We got the bar clamp set up two inches off the table using the full throat of the clamp. We're gonna set the load cell right here and it's gonna be pushing in the same spot every time. So what we're gonna do is take our torque wrench set to 25 foot pounds. We're gonna apply it on the back and we're gonna click it up to the same torque reading every time and then we're gonna read the number. This is gonna tell us how much more rigid the bar is for the torque. And then after that, we can really crank it up and see where we can go with it. Okay, I'm just gonna get it snugged up here. 700, 800. Okay, let's put the wrench on it. 1,000, 1,100, something's moving. 1,300, 1,500, 1,800, 19, 2,000. Goodness, a lot of bow. <laughs> 23, wow, that is crazy. Still hasn't clicked off yet. Come on, click. Oh, there it goes, 2450. There was a lot of stretch that probably moved a good inch of thread to get to that. We gotta be careful, this thing's like a big giant rubber band. Let's measure its deflection. Inch and nine sixteenths. Oh well, yeah, it's definitely bowed quite a bit more. But what I'd like to do, I think that this would be stronger if we put a couple tack welds on this thing. Just put a couple stitches. One, two, three. I bet you this will be stronger than the one by two tube. So this bar is hot, and if I test it right now, it might bend. So we're gonna let it cool down. But in the meantime, let's use the standard one by two bar and see what we can get with that. Just by hand, that was 400, 500 pounds. 1,200, okay, 1,600, 2,000, 21, 22. Oh, there it goes, 2730. That's quite a bit at 25 foot pounds. And you can see I could probably still go more by hand. Yep, so I can still turn it more by hand and we're sitting at 3,000 pounds. Very little bend. I'm gonna say we are inch and three quarter. So it's deflected a quarter of an inch. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Solid one by two bar stock. I'd only want to use this in rare occasions <laughs> for maximum clamping forces desired. There we go. Wow, that jumped up so fast. Six, seven, 900. So theoretically, this should click off pretty fast. 17, 18, 19, 23, 25, almost 29, 28, 50. Definitely serious force there. Okay, so we've only deflected an eighth of an inch. So now I'm a little nervous. Do we go, do we go for broke? I don't really I don't want to break anything. Let's just go and see how far I go with my hand. 3,000, 35. I better put my face shield on just in case this thing pops, smacks me in the face. Ugh. I really want to see 4,000. Anybody want to see 4,000? I do. 4,000 pounds of force. Woo, that is a lot of force. That's two tons. If you really need to move something, this might be your man. Okay, we're ready for one by two welded bars. Here we go. Okay, we got 300, five, seven. Oh, it's going up fast, much faster than it is before. 1,000, 1,300, 14, 15, 19, 20, 21. Still deflecting, but going up faster. 24, 25, 29, there it goes. So yes, that just by putting those couple little tacks on there made a big difference and your clamping force with the least amount of effort. I'm gonna call that one and 11 sixteenths. A standard three quarter bar clamp ain't got nothing on these things. Well, hope you guys learned something like I did. I'm gonna be sticking with the one by two bar stock, 120 wall tubing, because I think it's the best balance of weight and strength all combined. But if I do need that extra little punch, I'm gonna be jumping up to that one by two bar stock even though it is quite a bit heavier. <laughs> if you're interested in the Maximus clamps, we have them in several different sizes and even lumber clamps now. So check them out at the Fireball Tool website. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.